happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another vlog. So today, the first thing that I want to show you is I got one of the boxes, one of the nail art display boxes. So I wanted to like open that up and put it together with you. I've had it open, I've looked it over, it's pretty cool. Got the white one. Let's get rid of the box. So I got the white one. You can see my ring light, of course. But the part I think that I like the most about it, I'm weird that way, but it is magnetized. So it is simply a magnet that closes it. So you're not trying to like harshly unsnap anything. I like that. Let me move this camera and you guys can watch me fumble through trying to clean it up. I'll get to that in a second and put it together. So I'm not sure, just a second. I have these little dots, tabs. Mm. Anyway, they're just little sticky dots that I use when I'm doing press-ons or when I'm playing with nail art. Like I use it on this doohickey. Oh, there's still one on there. To stick tips to this to be able to use for display or for you guys, for tutorials, whatever. So I don't know if I want to put them on with those sticky dots. If you're using one, comment down below and let me know what you're using. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to use. In the meantime, I'm going to use the little sticky dots because that's what I have on hand. So, oh, the cleaning. Oddly enough, a couple of the slides, I'm gonna call them slides, came with like, it's not dust. Maybe it is dust. Either way, let's get that cleaned up. Okay. Come on down. What I have here is just a spray bottle of alcohol uh, that I have been using to spray things that can't necessarily be washed. I've just, it's just kind of been around since we came back to work. I'm gonna use this and maybe a piece of paper towel and spray them down and wipe them off. I don't even know what that is on them. It's as if it's a residue maybe from cutting them, shaping them or whatever. Cleans right off, good as gold. So yeah, I think, I think that's what I'll continue to do. And I don't think all of them are that way. It seems to only be a few. Really odd that they would come like that. So yeah, I really would love to know like what you guys are using for display or if you are. I literally have, um, is it this? Yeah, I have, this is like <laughs> full of nail art designs. And what happens is they get beat around a little bit in there. Then I end up throwing them out because they're in bad shape and they're getting a little dusty. Okay, this one isn't cleaning up as nicely. That's all right. So yeah, I'm, I'm really uncertain as to how this all works. Like I've seen people post about their little display units. Never really, I guess, looked close enough to see how they're actually sticking them on there. All right, let's speed this up and I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. have all my slides cleaned up. They were a bit dirty, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, I will try to provide a link down below for where I got this. I would love to carry these in my store. This is kind of why I purchased one. I wanted to see what was up. I wanted to see how cool they were and then I wanna try to source them and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna see first about getting these on here. So let's do, let's do this set. This is the, 
Care Bear set that I just did for a collaboration with myself and uh, Jesse. Peach Manifesto. And so it's on my channel. Probably I'm gonna say one video down, maybe two. So I have five nails. I'm gonna see about, I'm just kind of thinking back to when I was doing press-ons and how I would uh, put them in the package. This is what I was doing. I would take three and lay them down. And then I would take the two and lay them in between the three. <laughs> does, that make, does that make any sense to anyone? I kind of learned through process of elimination when I was doing press-ons to use a daughter tool to pick up the tips because it allows you to lay them on so much straighter. So that's a little, a little tip, a little trick. I'm gonna lay down the middle nail first and I'm lining up the tops, not the bottoms. So, so I'm lining up the tops, the cuticle, so to speak, not the bottom. I am so excited for this. It's just a nice little way, there's glitter stuck to it, a nice little way I feel like to professionally. Not only that, but in a year's time, when St. Patrick's Day comes around again, and I'm like, ooh, I know I did a really sweet paint St. Patrick's Day set. Either I have to scroll back through 10,000 pictures from a year, or I have to try to find the set and re-photograph them, which wouldn't be a big deal and wouldn't be difficult if I knew where to find the nails, or if the nails were in decent shape. The way I'm storing them right now, the nails are not going to be in decent shape. Oh. We got our runner. This one's heavier because it has gems on it. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, don't worry. And the glitter nail, okay. There. Oh, they look so sweet. Oh my word. That is exactly what I wanted. Okay, I do need to tell you though, like let's take a moment to appreciate this glitter. And I wanna show you which one it is because it's so pretty. It's called Sea Gem from the Glitter Bells. I need to turn that phone off. From the Glitter Bells um, line of loose glitters. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Keep getting sidetracked really easily. So let's put this in. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. I love it. I love, love it. So that's gonna make me really happy. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple more sets on. I have the, <clears throat> I have the Pink Panther set. And, oh, uh, the, um, witchy woos <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Yeah, like the, oh, oh no, that's okay. The, um, the evil eye set. So I'm gonna get those on slides. Can't forget that I have clients today to do. Need to get ready for those. Okay, bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Happy afternoon. Okay, so let's talk about how this is going. Not so well. So I just looked over and looked at my little display box. I got two sets of nails on before my client came and this is what I was met with. Okay, so these are the ones that still have to go on. Uh, so, oh, sorry, <laughs> the camera. These are the ones that still have to go on. Uh, these are the ones that I did put on and they fell off. I'm gonna put them back on and I'm gonna push them in a little harder and maybe add another line of dots. I did notice that somebody else was using like sticky tack and had like really filled in the underside of the nail, um, like the arch with sticky tack and put it on, but I don't, I don't know if that's gonna work any better than this is because it's essentially the same concept. So I'm just gonna put them back on, press them in really well, because I don't think I did that. Press them in really well, um, put another line of dots on, press them in really well, and try that, drink my tea. Anyway, but I found, okay, so the reason for this box, I really want to start hand drawing more, but I am not good at, for lack of a better way to put it, coming up with my own designs. Like, I'm not very good at like, like if I say, oh, I really want to do a set of um, Alice in Wonderland nails, I have to look up Alice in Wonderland nails. I have to pick a few favorites and then I can go to Google and be like, how do you draw the Mad Hatter or how do you draw Alice or how do you draw whatever that cat's name is. That being said, it is not my intention to like reach out and copy someone's work, of course. I'm gonna work on trying to like hit up Google and hit up some how to draw whatever character and see if I can dream up my own design. I mean, we have five nails. We only have so much space on each nail. So I feel like there's only so many things that you can do on each nail. However, I find it difficult. I find it really difficult. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of like 
get going on some designs that I've seen and then I'm going to try to continue going on designs that I make. It's all up here. It's an up here thing. It's really an up here thing. I struggle too with symmetry really bad. So I really like things that are not symmetrical. I'm better at things that aren't symmetrical. However, that's another thing I want to work on. I don't really know why I'm telling you guys all this. Anyway, I'm going to redo this. <laughs> drink my tea, think about life, and avoid doing those designs because that's actually what I was gonna work on right now. But this is how I do things, so I'll see you later. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I'm just getting ready to edit this video with my allergy face. Um, first, do you guys find that more of you are suffering from allergies this year? Is it the constant masking up? Is it the constant being indoors? Is it because I painted my bathroom? Like, let me know if you're, you know, really feeling allergic. Anyway, I did want to show you that I have a new order of practice hands just in. It's all updated on the website, hands and holders. These holders are amazing. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me post quite a few times about the holders because they're just so super cool and I want everybody to know about them. Um, but I do have a whole shipment of practice hands here. I have unloaded them and have started putting them away where they're supposed to go but yeah the link is down below if you want to check out the practice hands